In the first few years of life, children's brains form more than one million neural connections every second. This means that a child's early experiences are crucial in how their brains develop. Children who feel safe and nurtured have the best chance of growing into healthy, happy and resilient adults. Those who do not are at greater risk of developmental delays, mental health and behavioural conditions, even health problems like cardiovascular disease and cancer. And these impacts can last throughout their lifetime. Children exposed to war are among the most vulnerable. And three years of war in Ukraine mean that for many, many children, their earliest years have become marred by conflict, displacement, violence and loss. When highly distressing or potentially traumatic events occur, a child's nervous system is flooded with the stress hormone cortisol. Now, the brain's prefrontal cortex, responsible for emotional regulation and higher thinking, it temporarily shuts down. The amygdala, the brain's emotion center, takes over. This process allows us to react quickly, triggering a fight, flight or freeze response. The stress response is normal and some stress can be healthy. But if it happens repeatedly, and if there's no safe space to rest, to recover, it can wire, indeed it can rewire the brain. For example, people who experience prolonged stress and trauma in childhood can find that their ability to regulate emotions goes offline more quickly, and they can have faster emotional reactions, even in response to small stresses. This makes it harder to manage emotions. But there is good news. When families receive the support and essential services they need, children living in conflict zones can be protected from some of the most damaging effects of violence and adversity. And while these early years are, of course, crucial, the brain remains plastic throughout their lives, meaning that children can recover from early hardships. But to help children in Ukraine and in other conflict zones rewire their brains for that lifelong health and well-being, they do need secure nurturing environments, and they need them now.